guys welcome back to another episode of new music tuesday uh this week we're going to talk about kesha's new album but before i get into that i do want to address um something i said last week uh about alicia keys i pretty much excuse me i have hiccups slammed her for being a poor vocalist not always just recently over the past few years um, and I hold true to that. I'm not taking that back because I did mean it. I still do. But I am definitely a person who will give props when they're due. And her performance last week on X Factor was very good. Um, very good because she did two things. One, she slowed it down, you know, and gave us you know, a quality performance. And two, she changed the key. The key is definitely lower than how she performed it previously and how it's on the album. So the key is different. And she took her time with it. You know, I'm not saying it was her best performance because it wasn't, but it was good. It was very, very good. And I said, Alicia, I respect you. I, I, I enjoyed that. I really, truly enjoyed that performance. So that's all I have to say about that. Let's get on to Miss Kesha and her album, Warrior. I've um, been listening to it all day. I've listened to it about three or four times already because I wanted to have an opinion. Um, let me first start off by saying I did not like Kesha at all when she came out with her first album. That song was it Don't, Don't Stop. Blah blah blah, blah blah blow my speakers up tonight. I'm a fight till we see the sunlight. What is it? TikTok. That's the name of the song. Um, I hated that song. I did not like Kesha. I thought it was ridiculous that she even had a record deal. I said, What is this world coming to that people like her have a record deal? And so I did not listen to her music. I refused to because I was just like, no, this is not somebody that I want to be giving my money to. Um, but let me tell you when that changed. When she came out with We Are Who We Are. When she came out with that song, I was like, I like this song. It's really catchy. And so it made me kind of go back and listen to all her other songs. I think she's ridiculous. I can't take her seriously as a vocalist. She's a pop artist. And she does exactly what people in the pop genre need to do. Sell records. Make hits and sell records. It doesn't necessarily have to do with uh, creating, um, uh, you know, changing history. It doesn't have anything to do with them wanting to become a legend. You know, to be remembered 10, 20 years down the line. She's just here to make music, make hits, make records, make that money. You know, that's what I get from her music. Now, if she's, if this is her way of leaving some kind of legacy behind, then I would love to watch her behind the music special because if she has, when she has one, because I need to understand. But right now, she's just fun and, and entertaining for me. What finally made me switch gears from disliking her to liking her as an artist was realizing that I need to take her out of that box of judging her as a vocalist because she's not a vocalist. She can, her singing is not on a vocalist level. She is not someone that I would say, oh my gosh, she reminds me of a Kelly Clarkson, of a Carrie Underwood, of a Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, you know. Um, she's just someone who creates really catchy club tunes. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if that's what you're going for, if that's something that you're aiming to do. If you are trying to create um, a legacy for yourself, then I don't think this is the way to do it. And that is kind of my problem with Rihanna and Nicki Minaj, but that's another story. Um, but let's go on to the reasons why I love her album. Kesha, I think, I, I, I think she works hard. I think she put a lot of thought and effort into these tracks um with assistance of course um my favorite songs on this track i have four songs that i really really like the rest are just great or just okay for me but i do like the entire album i love warrior 
I Love Die Young, Supernatural, and Love Into the Light, which is a slower song for her, which allows her to kind of expand on her vocal ability a little bit. There's another song that she sang, I think it's called Wonderland, where I think she slowed it down a little bit as well and tried to do a little bit of a ballad. I didn't necessarily like it because like I said, I can't put Kesha in the realm of a vocalist, but the album is very catchy, you know, it's very dance worthy. People who love to party and love to dance and like dance music and techno and, you know, always keeping a steady beat in their head. Kesha's album is definitely for you. If you're looking for quality vocals and singing, you know, someone's voice to just take you on a journey, she's not the one. She is truly not the one. And I'm not saying that, like I said, to be mean. I'm saying it because it's true. But, um... I did kind of want to look, and I said I'd do it while I'm recording this. I want to look and see, excuse me, I have hiccups, if she, um, how involved she was in the production of this album. Um, I know she's a songwriter, so I'm going to assume that she, um, had a pretty big hand in writing this. So let's see what she got going on. Um, I'm pretty sure she wrote all, if not most, of her songs, and she did. She wrote, or had a hand in writing, every single one of them. So, I'm not surprised by that. Like I said, I, I respect you so much when you are the songwriter or, or co-writer of your own music. Um, yeah. You know, a little surprise that she did. She did a, a song, a collab with Iggy Pop, which... I wasn't my favorite, but I did enjoy it called Dirty Love. But um, a lot of these, she worked with Dr. Luke and Max Martin, you know, for produce, production work and everything. But um, overall, I enjoy the album because I'm judging her based upon who she is. She's Kesha. I'm not comparing Kesha to Kelly Clarkson to, you know, I'm trying to think of someone that's relevant right now. Only people that pop into my head are American Idol people. I don't even know why. I uh, can't think of anyone. Even a Cher Lloyd, you know. Again, she's X Factor. See, I'm, I'm not very good at picking names of people right now. But you know what I'm trying to say. A vocalist. You know, she's not the vocal type person. Um, she's just a pop artist. She's your basic, generic pop artist. There's nothing that she's doing, unfortunately, that will leave a mark in music history. She has time. She's like my age, I think. So I'm not saying she can't do it, but I'm saying that she should probably start working on it. Because how old is she? Let me see. Like I said, I'm just kind of looking at everything. Yeah, we're literally the same age. I'm a little older. But uh, she's 25. But uh, yeah, so she has time to, you know, figure out what she wants to do. But uh, yeah, overall, I like her album. I give it a B because I am all about vocals. I love it when people's voices take me on a journey and hers does not do that, but the album is catchy. So I can definitely respect her for that. So that is it. I don't think that was too harsh. Let me know if you think it was, but um, yeah, uh, leave a comment down below if you agree with me, disagree with me, if there's any other music that I need to be listening to that came out this week. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. My house is completely decorated and I love this time of the year. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys next week for another episode of New Music Tuesday. Bye!